Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Danny's Dishes. Today we have something that's quick, simple and easy. Uh, it's going to be a quick, it's almost like a superfood salad, but it's even easier. So we have peri peri chicken and we're just going to serve that with a bit of salad and a bit of seeds. And the key to the peri peri chicken is the marinade. Uh, the most important part of the marinade is getting it done the day before. So if you can get this done the day before, you have extremely flavoursome chicken. Uh, I'm also using Chicken Supremes, because I think Chicken Supremes are just nice. Sort of, no, if you have plain chicken breast, that's fine. Or if you want to just dice up the chicken and put it in there, that's fine. But the marinade for this is one tin of chopped tomatoes, two uh, teaspoons of ginger powder, one lemon zest and one lemon juice, so that's the same lemon. Two red chilies, uh, two cloves of garlic, three spoons of cayenne pepper, three spoons of salt, two tablespoons of honey, one orange juice, one orange zest. So an orange juice and zest is basically you, you get a, a peeler and you peel the skin into it on the fine side and then you just squeeze into the juice. And there's Plenty of other seasonings you can put in here, but this is this is really good. So main thing about this is get it done the day before and let that juice and that that lovely flavors kick in. Now there is herbs that you can add to this: coriander, parsley. Um, I haven't added them in. Uh, what I've done is I've got dry peppers or dry mixed herbs there. Add in just a small shake of that, and they'll work well. First, first job is over to the stove, we start cooking the chicken. So folks, a little bit of sesame seed oil into the pan and let it get nice and hot. So when your pan gets nice and hot, so you're, going to feel, you're going to feel the heat underneath your pan. Don't put it too close, otherwise it'll splat up and burn you. I'm pretty used to heat now, so I can go pretty close to it. When you start to hear that oil, let's fill it up. We're going skin side down first. It's skin side down the chicken. I just want to get a nice colour on both sides of the chicken and we're going straight into the oven for about 30 30 to 35 minutes depending on how long you leave it in the pan. If you leave it much longer in the pan you can leave it at 25 minutes. But because it's chicken supreme and there's a bone in the meat, you, you have to give it that extra couple of minutes so it will take a while for the, the meat by the bone to cook. So that's really all you need to do there. We've got a pot on here for boiling water that we're going to put our eggs into. So for this salad I'm going to put in a couple of soft boiled eggs, lovely little thing to add with a salad, and just protein as well, so it's all around winner winner chicken dinner. As you can see, there's no really colour on the skin yet, so we're leaving it in. We're leaving them in until they get a nice colour on them. So allowing the skin to get nice and crispy. So we'll turn it over. We can turn your pan down and heat it a little bit. And just put the lid over her. Just leave her there for a few minutes so that the chicken can get a nice kind of seal of flavour. The water's on the boil now. And if you're worried about burning your fingers, put it in a spoon and then just drop it into the water. So there we go. Drop it into the water. And just drop it into the water. For a soft boil, you're looking at four to five minutes. For a medium boil, six to seven minutes. And then hard boil can be can be eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes plus if you really want to. 
Uh, we're going to the egg boil away and basically we're going to peel these eggs. So the best way to peel the eggs is take them straight off the hot water and run them under cold water. The cold water relaxes the, the eggs so that you'll be able to peel the skin and just leave them sit in the cold water until you're ready to start the salad. What we're doing now is we'll be bringing the chicken and putting it into the oven. So make sure your oven is preheated at about 180 degrees. So chicken from the pan to the oven at about 180 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. So folks, the eggs were on the boil for about 5 minutes, roughly, give or take a couple of seconds. So what I did was I took them off the stove, I drained off all the hot water and I kept rinsing them with cold water until they were cold to touch. Now the important thing about this is it relaxes the egg quicker which will make it easier to peel and it stops the egg from cooking more on the inside which will prevent bacteria growth. The quicker you cool it down the better and just gives you a better egg. So just leave them rest now in cold water to the side and it's just about salad preparations there. So chicken's in the oven, about 20 minutes left on her and all we have to do now is salad preparation. See, nice, quick, easy. All you have to do was wash and peel your veg and we can get moving. So salad leaves is the first thing that will be going in with. So into a nice big container. Couple of mixed leaves of salad. We got spinach, we've got rocola, you've got a lot of different leaves in there. And we've got some iceberg lettuce. So what we're gonna do is just finely slice some iceberg lettuce. So the best way to slice iceberg lettuce would be go down right down through the middle. There we go. Now, any problems with your board? I'll bring close up. Any problems with your board? So if your board is uh, shaky or anything, stick a wet cloth underneath it and that will prevent your board from shaking. As you can see, stable as a concrete house. So fun no made, get your damp cloth underneath your chopping board and it'll reduce the risk getting your getting cut. So we remove the the butt. Straight down. And then from there you work with your Knuckles guiding your knife, finely slice. This is called a chiffonade. This is called a chiffonade. Gives you lovely, thin, crispy pieces of lettuce. Nice and salad. Nice for garnish, even. It's going to go all the way in to the very end. There you go, this lovely crisp is the salad leaves. Great for even in a burger bun. Now in again and press it down. And your fingers tucked together, letting the it's basically gonna glide your blade back every so often. Now, you can go fast or you can go slow. It's all on how comfortable you feel. You're not to show off to anybody or anything. It's your own personal kitchen. This is your own. This is a great little uh, thing for lunch. It's a great little thing for kind of getting ready for lunch the next day or anything like that. So on to our peppers. Peppers, same as usual. Go around your sides. Make sure you get all the lettuce off your board before you start your next cuts. And off you go with your peppers.
Like I said, it's, it's all key is the knife. The knife is the key. Nice sharp, nice, nice sharp knife equals easy cutting. Less chance of getting yourself cut. For the onions, we're going to do slightly different. Usually, I'd cut the onion in half and do a French style onion. This time, we're just going to do like mini onion rings. Lovely in salads. Look a bit different. Most important is make sure to keep your fingers tucked. There you go. Just something nice and different for your salad. As you can see there. Lovely little kind of lovely little onion rings. Just a nice little different shape for your salad. So not everything is uh, straight cuts or anything like that. Now I'm making salad for three, so you know you don't have to. Use as onions or veg or anything in yours. This is enough for quite a couple of people. Maybe three, four people. Salad wise anyways, there's enough chicken on there for three people. Now going to the salad bowl. Next is our cucumber. Cucumber will go the exact same way with. So your knife is going, your, your fingers are going to be guiding your knife. And you're just looking to keep it to one inch thick. As you can see, nice thin cucumbers. Now if you want to wash your, wash your knife between each cut of edge, you can, but all the veggies are going to be mixed up anyways together, so save yourself just a bit of time. Cucumber done. Give it a bit of a mix around. Same as all those carrots. So you'd want to get them to this thickness, and then it's just a matter of cutting how thick you want them in your salad. To get them to that again, you're just literally going once, twice, three times, four times. But if you want to save yourself a bit of time, stack your carrots. Stack your carrots one on top of each other. Careful that they might slip from each other. Don't be applying too much pressure. And there you go. So, now, quick clean down of the board. Because before we start the avocado, I'm just gonna show you how quickly to peel the eggs. So, make sure your eggs are nice and cool. Give them a little tap off there, and you'll see the egg is starting to break. So I'm not sure if you can see this, the cracks there. You'll see, they'll just start to flake. See the, the flake coming off there? So that's the way you're gonna get into the egg. And it's just about going nicely around the egg. Basically, you're basically just blanching your eggs. That's all you are. That's all you're doing. Moving around nice and slow. Taking off a little bit at a time. Sometimes it'll come off in chunks and sometimes it won't. The good news is, it's just for yourselves, so don't worry too much. 
Like I said, you're eating at home, you're not eating for a Michelin star, or you're not eating anything or anything like that. Now, the, the softer you cook your eggs, the harder this will be to do. So, obviously, the more well done your eggs are, the easier this is going to be because you have a more solid yolk. If your eggs aren't well done, well, you're just going to have a, a softer yolk, which means it's going to have to be a bit more gentle. No. That's the first egg done. Okay, so folks, boiled eggs done. All we're going to do is get a bit of seed now. I'm going to add it to our salad. Just good, give that nice texture, a nice flavor. What we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in our salad, just to dress the salad leaves a bit. And some roast pepper pesto. Nice little addition. Lovely, lovely, lovely bit of flavor. And then you just have to get hands on. So make sure it gets nice and mixed through. Make up all that veg and all that salad leaves and pesto's a lovely flavour to your salad leaves, lovely colours going on here. So as you can see, you just get it in your hand, going down to the bottom, from the bottom to the top. The whole time. Now, you can use a French mustard dressing on this if you want, or you can use an English mustard dressing on this if you want, but I think the lighter you go with this, the better. Lovely seeds, you know, everything lends itself, you know, that's the thing about balance, balance is key. And then, get your plate. You get your plate, which is here, and you get a nice fist of salad, and you go straight into the middle. Taking as much of that veg and that nuts that, that you have with you. Nice, simple salad. Get a few cherry tomatoes, give them in around the edges. Nothing complicated, everything's nice and simple. Get your avocado. Now for an avocado, you literally find the center You're going to hit what's called the core, and from the core, you literally wiggle your knife around until you come out to where you had the first cut. And all you're going to do is you're going to wiggle your avocado around the core. There you have it. It's a good trick with avocado. Cut down, then use your knife. And run it right up along the back of the avocado. Get all the skin off it. Now you have a bit of skin, so you can peel it there, peel it there, peel it there, peel it there. And all you do is then slice it. Put it in around your salad. Same again. Run your knife along the back of the avocado that's the top and there you go avocado no here is what your chicken will look like after 30 minutes in the oven so I'm going to bring the board close to you so you can see it Okay.
Yeah, lovely, smells fantastic. What you're going to do now is you're just going to go one. There you go, lovely cooked chicken. You can literally drop that on top. Have you thought it? And then your boiled egg. Take your egg. And you're just going to cut through it. Look at that lovely egg. And leave it down there. And leave it down there. And uh, that's it, guys. That is a quick and easy salad. So I'll show you the final product. I hope you enjoyed the video. And look, if you like what you see, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my all my socials. And uh, bon appetit. I hope you enjoy.